friends in this video we represent the graph in a computer compatible mode pictorial representation of graph is very important and useful for a visual study but for computer processing another representation of graph is required that representation is matrix representation many results on theory of matrices can be applied to study the structural properties of graphs various type of matrix representation of graph can be possible but main two type of matrix representations are adjacency matrix and incidence matrix in a matrix we know two things are there one is the row another one is the column if we consider row wise and column wise both the vertices and draw the matrix then it is the adjacency matrix so more ex explicitly we can say adjacency matrix for suppose g is a graph uh, which is a simple graph with n vertices then the adjacency matrix is represented by ag and we can write it as aij which is a n cross n matrix as there are n number of vertices that's why the size of the matrix is n by n where this aij is equals to 1 if in between any two vertices there is a connection and is equals to 0 if there are no connection for example let this one is a graph Here four vertices are given v1, v2, v3, and v4. Its adjacency matrix. If we want to draw, then it is A G, where in this matrix we write row wise the v1, v2, v3, and v4, and column wise also v1, v2, v3, and v4. Now v1 with v1 there is no connection. That means v1 to v1 there is no connection. That means its Value is zero. V one to V two again there is no connection, so it is zero. V one to V three there is a edge connectivity, so it is one. V one to V four there is again one edge connectivity, so it is also one. Now V two, if we consider V two, so as V two not connected with itself, that's why it is zero. V two not connected with V one, that's why V two V one is zero. V two connected with V three and V four. That's why V two V three is one, and V two V four is also one. Now V three V three not connected with itself, but it is connected with V one V two and V four all. So for V three V one it is one. V three V two it is one. V three V three V three to V three there is no connectivity. That's why it is zero. And V three to V four there is a connection that's why it is one. For V four same as V three so V four to V four there is no connection and V four connects with the remaining V one V two and V three that's why V one V four is one V four V two is one V four V three is one and V four V four is zero. So this one for the undirected graph if the matrix we want to draw for the undirected pseudo graph undirected pseudo graph means a graph which contains loop and parallel edges in the previous graph there are no loops and no parallel edges that's why this is the simple graph for we draw the adjacency matrix now again suppose g is a graph which is a pseudo graph with n number of vertices then aj that is the adjacency matrix of this graph g is represented by aij definitely the order is n cross n where aij is equals to 1 if there is a connectivity of by an edge and that value is equals to n if two vertices connected by n number of edges that means if their parallel edges exist and zero otherwise for example if we consider this graph then here in this graph four vertices are given again v1 v2 v3 and v4 its adjacency matrix if we want to draw then row wise and column wise we write the vertices at first 
Now V1 to V2, we emphasize on V1. So V1 to V2, there is no loop. That's why no connection, hence it is 0. V1 to V2, there is a edge connectivity, so it is 1. V1 to V3, 1 edge connectivity, hence it is again 1. V1 to V4, look, there are 2 edge connections. That's why instead of 1, we should write here it is 2. Now if we consider V2, then V2 to V1, there is a connection. V2 to V2, look, there is a loop. So where loop means it starts at V2 and ends at also V2. That's why V2 to V2, it should be 1. Now V2 to V3, there is no connectivity. So 0, V2 to V4, connection is there. That's why it is 1. Now if we consider V3, then V3 to V1, there is a connection. V3 to V2, no connection. V3 to V4, 1 connection. And V3 to V3, there is no connection. That's why it is 0. If we consider V4, so then V4 to V1, there are two edge connectivity, so that it is 2. V4 to V2, there is one connectivity, so it is 1. V4 to V3, one connection, so it is 1. And V4 to V4, there is no connectivity, that's why it is 0. So this one is the adjacency matrix for the pseudo graph. Corresponding to that, we can find out some features or we can observe this matrix and we can draw some properties for the matrix. So what are the properties? If we observe this one, so the diagonal entries, this one is the diagonal, this is the diagonal and this is diagonal, this one is the diagonal. So if we draw this diagonal, so now we will find out that this one is a symmetric matrix. Just observe, this one is a symmetric matrix. So this is the one of the feature of the adjacency matrix for undirected graph that the adjacency matrix is always a symmetric matrix. The elements of principal diagonal are all zero if the graph is simple graph. If the graph is a simple graph then it does not contain any self loop or parallel edges. No self loop means that any vertex with itself there is no connection. That's why we say that the principal diagonals are always the entry 0. Next, the degree of vertex is equal to the number of ones present in the corresponding row or column. If we consider this graph, here for V1 in this row, the total number of ones present is 2. That is actually the degree count of this vertex. Similarly for V2 it is 2, V3 it is total 3, V4 it is total 4. So these all are the degree count of the corresponding vertex. So V1 having degree 2, V2 is also have degree 2, V3 is degree 3, V4 is degree 4. Not only row wise, if we count column wise then also we will get the same values 2, 2, 3 and 3. So, the degree of a vertex we can find out by counting the number of ones presented in the row or in the column. Number 4 is for simple graph, the elements of adjacency matrix are 0 and 1. So, it is called boolean or bit matrix. It is very obvious that in an adjacency matrix, only two type of entries are there. Either it is 0 or 1. Next, for the simple graph, the number of non-zero elements in the matrix is equal to the sum of the degrees of all vertices of the graph. So, the if it is a simple graph, then in the entire adjacency matrix, the total number of non-zero entries. So that here for this graph, if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Total 10 allocations have 1 which is non-zero. So the total degree count for this entire graph is 10. Look it is 2, 2, 3 and 3. So 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 3 it is 7, 7 plus 3 it is 10.
now for example draw the graph of the following adjacency matrix that is the reverse one a graph is given it is given a adjacency graph then corresponding to this graph we are supposed to draw the corresponding to this matrix we are supposed to draw the graph so at first we observe that this diagonal entries so this all diagonals are zero hence there are no self loops exist next as all the entries are exactly ones so there are no parallel edges also if we draw this one as a diagonal then we observe it is the symmetric matrix hence it is a simple undirected graph now total number of rows are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and definitely the total number of columns are also 6 so in the graph there are total 6 vertices which are we are supposed to draw so we initially consider the name of this rows as v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 and corresponding to that we take the 6 vertices now v1 it is connected with v2 v4 and v6 so v1 connected with v2 v4 and v6 v2 connected with v1 v3 and v5 v2 connected with v1 v3 and v5 v3 connected with v2 v4 and v6 v3 connected with v2 v4 and v6 v4 connected with v1 v3 and v5 so v4 connected with v3 v1 and v5 v5 connected with v2 v4 v6 v5 connected with v2 then v4 and v6 and v6 connected with v1 v3 and v5 v6 connected with v1 v3 and v5 so this one is the corresponding graph next the adjacency matrix for directed graph if the given graph is directed then how we will draw the adjacency matrix so similarly if ag is the notation for the adjacency matrix then this is the adjacency matrix where a i j 1 if g has a directed edge from i to j and otherwise zero that means if a one edge exists from a vertex vi to vj then the according to the direction if it is vi to vj then we will do the entry 1 if it is vj to vi then we will direct uh, we will substitute the value zero for example this one is a directed graph here total six vertices is given so according to the six vertex we have a six cross six matrix so now for v1 we will have a uh, v for v1 we will find out that v1 connected with v2 then v1 to v2 there is a connectivity 1 v1 to v5 there is a connectivity v1 to v6 there is another connectivity similarly for v2 v2 to v3 there is a connectivity v2 to v3 there is a connectivity v2 to v4 there is a connectivity v2 to v5 there is another connectivity v2 v1 not connected because the direction is in the from v1 to v2 not from v2 to v1 and similarly in this way we will draw this matrix in this matrix we will observe that here the diagonal entries are zero but this one is not a symmetric graph in fact if we add this edges add this number of one entries then we will find out it is 3 it is also 3 this is 1 this is also 1 this is 1 this is 
and if we add column wise then we will find out it is 1 it is 2 2 2 3 and 1 so look these two values are now it is not same that is because if it is a directed graph then row wise sum gives uh, gives us the out degree and column wise sum give us the in degree just observe for v1 the out degree is 3 whereas the in degree is 1 so out degree is 3 and in degree is 1 for the vertex v1 similarly for the vertex v2 v2 out degree is 1 2 and 3 and the in degree is 1 and 2 for v3 the out degree is 1 and the in degree is 2 and like this. so if we add this total in degree and total out degree then definitely these two are same so in total in degree and total out degree always same that we know from the previous theorem now this features we already concluded so if one example let us do this matrix is given and we are supposed to draw the corresponding graph now observe the diagonals in initially so all these are zero along the diagonal if we observe then this is not a symmetric graph here total five number of edges and uh, that is five numbers of rows and five number of columns are there so it is a directed adjacency matrix so that we will find out the graph which is a directed graph where we have total five number of vertices so if we draw the vertices then we should draw the edge so edge connectivity from v1 to v5 so v1 to v5 there is a edge in this direction from v2 to v1 from v2 to v1 there is a edge connectivity so from v2 to v1 now from v3 to v1 again from v3 to v1 there is a edge connectivity v3 to v1 there is a connectivity Again V3 to V4 is another connection. So V3 to V4 there is another connection. V4 to V2. V4 to V2 there is a connection. Then V4 to V3. V4 to V3 there is one more connection. Now V5. With V5 there are no more connections. So this one is the graph. Now one more type of graph we will have. Suppose the graph is the disconnected graph. This one is the graph. So its adjacency matrix if we are supposed to find then the same process. Here this one is a simple graph and the speciality is what? That it is the disconnected graph. So here total number of vertices are V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. So it is a 5 cross 5 matrix. So we write all the vertices. Now for the first component we will have V1, V2, V3. Accordingly V1 connected with V2 and V3. Then V2 connected with V1 and V3. And V3 connected with V1 and V2. And the remaining portion is 0. Now if we consider this component then it is V4, V5 and V4 connected with V5 and V5 connected with V1. So this one is the adjacency matrix. In this matrix we have the speciality. If there are more than one component in the graph then we can separate in this way the graph. In this way the matrix. This is the partitioning of the matrix which we can do for the um, disconnected graph only. In the next lecture, we consider the incidence matrix. Thank you.